we are going to move to the next session from um, Benedict to Adam. The, he's going to talk about another approach to street level data collection using customized tricycle and mapillary to enrich OpenStreetMap from Dar es Salaam. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank some of you for being here. At this time, I know there are several sessions are taking place in other uh, rooms, but you choose uh, to be with me today. I'll share with you uh, some few insights uh, concerning uh, city-level uh, city data collection using customized tricycle and the mapillary to enrich uh, OSM. My name is Benedicto Adam. I'm an associate GIS and data manager from OpenMap Development. Uh, OpenMap Development is a non-organization, which is a non-profit, which is based in Tanzania, and they have started to operate here since 2017, and did very, very in the issue of GIS and data, whereby uh, we have three pillars, including the data collection, uh, analysis, management and the visualization using uh, open source. But also we, use, uh, we based on uh, uh, capacity building and training, whereby we have been uh, conducting several trainings on university students and the other stakeholders, including government institutions and uh, other entities. But also uh, our MDTZ is uh, very, very invested in technology and innovation, which is open and free. Uh, we have several projects which I've been using, including uh, uh, bamboo drones. This bamboo drone is the one which we uh, developed, which we will use for acquisition of a uh, satellite image, just to, to increase the, uh, the process of mapping, but also uh, GNSS receivers. So uh, I'll take you to my uh, presentation today, which is on a street level data collection using customized tricycle and the map light in each uh, OSCM. As you know, urbanization are uh, present with a mix of challenges and the opportunities. As the city grows, it involves uh, different challenges. Uh, our, 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 our city in Dar es Salaam, we have uh, rapid ch uh, changes which have been taking place and the, these changes are becoming with different challenges, including urban floods, poor soil uh, waste management, development of informal settlement, traffic transition, and deforestation. So this also challenges needs updated data and maps and to see how you can combat them. Uh, why do we need these this, uh, maps and updated data? We need maps and update the data for different users, including daily service provision, vehicle automation, and disaster risk and special actions, as well as uh, services delivered. But it becomes very challenging to get uh, updated data due to uh, several uh, reasons, including uh, limited financial resources, whereby to update data, you need uh, enough resources, especially finance, to know how you can get those data Sometimes you need human resources for data collection and analysis, uh, cost of technology. Uh, some uh, technology comes uh, very huge costs, whereby for uh, an uh, organization or an individual cannot afford to pay so as you can get the updated data. Also, maintenance of database system. Uh, you need uh, to, maintain, to, 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 to maintain your database system for a certain time. So these this all challenges uh, have forced the uh, OMDTZ to find out the easy and the open way on how you can, uh, you can, you can, you can combat these challenges. Uh, open Market Open Tanzania have been doing several projects to see how to, uh, to come up to solution from these uh, challenges, including the manual year project of 2016, where we were using a uh, uh, city level mapping by using triangle, whereby you, 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 you take a triangle and you mount with a camera and start taking a street level images. But 
still we are, we are experiencing some challenges because the uh, uh, cost of getting those triangle is high. But sometimes when uh, it gets crushed, you are supposed to send it back to the manufacturers, where sometimes it's been taking even uh, three months. You are waiting for your uh, equipment for maintenance, then to proceed with an exercise. So it was a challenge for us. We are not able to cover the large, the large areas we expected. But also, we had some uh, pilots using 360 Insta camera. Whereby these Insta, Insta 360 Insta cameras, uh, it's good by taking image with good quality, but it does not have, does not support uh, taking uh, geo point. Whereby some, we are supposed to, to incorporate with, with other applications so as to get a geo coordinate. So this process of incorporating the uh, image from 360 Insta and the coordinate, it was reducing the quality of the image, whereby you are, we are not able to get the good and the quality pictures where you can analyze and detect some features. <clears throat> yeah, this is an example of the image taken in 2016 and another in 2014. This is the same place, but the changes will take place within uh, eight years. You can see how, how, how rapid changes take place. So to live like these roadblocks, open mouth development in Tanzania, opted using innovative technology, which is a customized tricycle equipped with the GoPro Max camera to capture 360 images. So uh, why we opted to, to use uh, this methodology? Because GoPro Max uh, camera, first it takes the image with high qualities, but also it is embodied with the GPS, where once you have captured the image, you just direct support to the mobility. Accessibility, 70% of our settlement in Dar es Salaam is informal settlement. So it is difficult uh, uh, to maneuver in some, some settlement because we have even a uh, one meter size of loads up to 1.5. So it is difficult to use the, uh, another vehicles uh, for movement to acquire the image. Uh, another issue is that traffic maneuver, uh, tricycle is easier to maneuver in different places and safety. Taking an image by walking and image by tricycle is different. Uh, you, may you may sometimes find that someone's chopping your phone when you're walking, taking image. So when you're using a tricycle by judge, you'll be safe with the, uh, with the tricycle and someone is driving. Uh, so this is an example of uh, uh, our uh, load, ne load networks. You can see the, the street is narrow. You cannot use the big vehicles to move the areas. So uh, we had several uh, trial and errors to, up to get to uh, this output. Uh, these are some procedures or setups which we applied to get the output. First of all, when you, start, you need to start mapping using GoPro Max, Max camera and the tricycle, you, have, you need to have a tricycle first, a GoPro Max camera, a camera holder, this is the holder which hold your camera and put it on the top of the bajaj. Another planned routes. Planned routes, you can see on the left side of my, of my presentation, there's the route which uh, we embodied it with the OS demand. OS demand is an open, open city map uh, applications where you can use it offline and you can develop your, your routes and to see where you can start to move so as to acquire the images. Another issue is the mobile phone. Mobile phone in which is, uh, you need to, to have another application, you see, quick GoPro app. You don't need to, 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 to stand on the top of the, of the tracer to take a picture. You just connect with your mobile phone and then you take your picture. Yeah. So uh, from our time of uh, mapping, we have managed to cover uh, 482 kilometers of loads and 158,500 images. Uh, from this, we are able to get uh, loads. Load, we have to get a load condition, uh, a load size, line, and the other traffic signs. Also, we are able to, to analyze uh, buildings. On the building, you can know a uh, building level, 
uh, building materials, building users. And uh, from the image acquired from the uh, GoPro Max, it is easy to, to analyze even transportation analysis, including traffic signs, uh, crosswalk, and the other features. Uh, it also, uh, as you can see, this is the image which we were captured by GoPro Max camera and they are put to uh, Mapilla. So from this image, there are a lot of insights you can uh, get. You can get a building condition, level, and uh, human activities, and the other environmental issues, including the solid waste management, and types of settlement. Even uh, you can analyze even economic situation depending on the level of uh, image you see. So after uh, capturing those images, the next step you will need to upload uh, to Mapilla. The process of uploading image to Mapilla is very easier. Like you're uploading an image to your Google Drive. You just use the Mapilla desktop upload, and then you select your image. You need only internet, then the image will be uploaded automatically. Uh, from the, those uh, 400 kilometers of MAPD, uh, we have managed to detect 96,000 uh, 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 facets detected, which include crosswalk, uh, zebra, speed limits, fire hydrants, trash can, traffic light, those names, and the other features. So uh, the process after uploading the image to uh, Mapillary, it automatically detects all the features. You don't need to use uh, a lot of internet to know what kind of this. Just it detects itself the features which have been uploaded, but you need them to do some uh, verification to know if the features which have been detected, do they correspond with what you are doing. So the issue of corresponding with what you have mapped and detected, you just use image. Mm. The image you see and you can even uh, compare yourself. It's different from taking a data from someone who collected from the site where you don't know is it true or not. But when you have an image and you compare what has been detected and what you see, it is easier for you uh, to update the data. So after uploading uh, those data to those images to, to, to Mapillars, you can uh, import those data to OSM. This is where the niching OSM starts. Taking the data from the site through uh, street view mapping, uploading to <laughs> Mapillar, then you can upload them directly to OSM. The process of, of uploading data to OSM can be done using JOSIN, uh, where there's a, a plug is known as Mapillar Smart Editor. So from now you can, you, you can, you can from through these uh, plugins, you are able to see the image and the features. So you can compare the image and what uh, information of which have been uh, filled there. Do they resemble or do they, do they, do they match with each other? But also you can upload uh, those data through ID editor. ID editor and lab ID. So this process all uh, facilitates or increases the value of OSM data because the aim is to, to, to increase the, 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 the value of data which are available on OSM, but also to verify that those data which have been collected before do they resemble what we see to the image and to update, you know, to update data uh, sometimes need uh, enough money, enough team, but this task have, have been done with only two people. The one who's taking image behind the button is the one who's driving. Mm -hmm. Within uh, uh, 15, uh, yes, 15 days. So uh, what are the point we have from this? First of all, we have enhanced accuracy and detailed lead time data, times update and detailed image. When I say detailed image, as you can see from the previous image, you see all information from if it's a building, you see the building level, you see the building material, this is the building condition. You see even if the levels of the building, this building has been already completed, constructed, or is under construction. Mm -hmm. And also, there is the integration with other tools. 
You can integrate those data with GIS, machine learning, and JOSIM, and the algorithm and the other AI. And uh, this is a one way to enrich, verify, and the updating OSCM data. Uh, so far from now, we are, we are in uh, contact with MapLally, where they have been uh, provided as another GoPro Max camera, in which we are expecting to get it uh, by next week. So this is the map of Tanzania, show the mapping initiative which have been conducting. As you can see, only the rest of them the Zanzibar small part have been mapped, but the rest is not mapped. So this, uh, this, this areas need to be updated and mapped so as to increase the value of OSM data. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Benedictio. Any questions? Thank you for uh, your representation. So I have some uh, technical questions. Uh, you mentioned that with your algorithm, with your AI algorithm, you can detect uh, micro elements like uh, uh, zebra crossing and uh, hydrant, fire hydrant, and so on. And I have, and my question: if your algorithm can also interpret some. Uh, attribute regarding to do those uh, elements. For example, if you can uh, tell me with your algorithm what is the width of the sidewalk or the slope of the sidewalk and so on. Okay, <coughs> thank you for your question. Uh, AI algorithm, there are some features which can detect, but other features we, 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 verif we verify ourselves by uh, visualization. Because you can you can visualize as an image, which show even exactly point where the image is taken, and what is is there. So other uh, verification are done here manually. Yes, hello. Yeah, also about the AI algorithm. I was wondering if it's your, <laughs> if it's part of your product or is it built in into Mapillary? Or is it a standalone AI algorithm? Where where is this AI uh, operating from? Uh, this AI has been uh, developed by Mapillary, so it's within the Mapillary. Another question? Sorry, is it free to is it free to access? Just as Mapillary is free, you can use it. You can also use its AI uh, algorithms. Yeah, it's free. It's open data, open source, open knowledge. Everything is free, just to need OSM and serve the community. Another question, please? Okay. Um, thank you so much for the presentation. Um, just one question. I would like you uh, to clarify more about uh, the challenges that you really got while uh, doing this data collection and mapping, uh, provided you were to the driver and then the one that was taking the images. Uh, that's the question. Yes, please. Uh, are there any uh, challenges that you faced while you were uh, doing uh, the image capturing? Actually, uh, for this methodology, we didn't experience any kind of challenges. Okay. Uh, all uh, procedures were smoothly. Okay. Uh, so I, 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 can, I can suggest even yourself, your team, and even uh, your country, you can replicate this methodology because mm -hmm. it's applicable everywhere, especially in African settlement. You know, most of the settlements are informal settlements mm -hmm. and difficult to uh, accessibility. So uh, using this methodology, it's good and very applicable. Okay, thank you. Uh, 
I just want to elaborate a little bit about what other uh, features can be detected from the street level imagery. Although those are somehow limited to street signs and others, and that's like somehow meta algorithm. Um, if they use their the segment anything model, which is like totally open, not totally, I would say the model is open source, the training data is open source, but how we can fine tune the model and enhance it is not an open source. I like something I've did the research around, and now there is another version, Sam, any, uh, Sam to uh, segment anything too. Uh, however, the data you're collecting is m too much important, and somehow it will open a lot of opportunities for researchers to do more detection for other features that's like more interested, especially for your uh, question, uh, Ahtif. Um, what I can, what I would like to ask also is, do you do more labeling for beyond the feature there? However, when you do a JOSM, when you open JOSM, and you wanna map something beyond the ones detected, but detected by Meta, do you do also more labeling for this data, or you stop by verifying the Meta data? Thank you. Actually, uh, we, we, we don't end where the AI end. We go beyond, even ourselves. We have a team on our office still working and analyzing different features which can be detected uh, rather than those points which have been identified by uh, Mabilali AI. So we are working uh, very hard to ensure that we get more insight, more features, more uh, science and the other, other kind of information to be useful for different users. Welcome. Thank you. I am Iman Suleimani from Tanzania, a youth mapper. I, I, have, I am really excited about the wonderful project that we have been doing at Open Map Development Tanzania. So I am asking for the possibility for, for us youth mappers chapters, if we can get a chance maybe to be trained by you guys on the advancement in, 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 this, in this mapping. So I'm asking for the possibility for us to be trained, maybe if is it possible, and is it free or maybe we need to pay I only that. Thank you so much. Uh, as you know, Open Map Development Tanzania, uh, one of the, our uh, objective is to provide training or to, to, to mitigate uh, what we have or what we know, we know to other people so as to serve the community. So the door is open. Anytime, just welcome to our office. We can help you. Thank you so much. Um, a round of applause for Benedict.